dog. <coughs> yeah. I was, I was looking for this gyro electric transporter. Gyro electric transporter? It's what a one wheel it? deal. What does it transport? People, apparently. It's on the cover. Oh, cool. That's pretty weird. I'll put the. I'll read about that later. <coughs> I thought that was kind of interesting. What are we doing? We're ready to go. We're going to gyrolically transport ourselves to Mailfall. Huh? Gyrolically electrically transport ourselves to Mailfall. They have to look at that catalog. We're going to see that one. There you go. Now, where's my stool? I think it's only behind here. It's got to it? have the right stool. Is this it? That's it. <coughs> you can have that one. Okay. The floppy. I thought that was yours. This one's very good. I don't know how it goes traveling on its own like that. They do. Well, loses this wheel if you're not careful. Yeah, this one does. It's smaller. I saw that the other day. There we go. Mm -hmm. Everyone was practicing their weight. 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 Huh? Well, you start opening boxes. That'd be good. Okay. That would be good. Okay. We'll mix things up a little bit. There we go. Okay. We will start with. Okay. Do you have everything you need in the basket? Uh, no. We got the camera and the sound. Yep. We got camera. Yep. Isn't that wonderful? Aren't we organized? Uh -huh. a little Where are you going? Where's Grace? Um, I think she's in the training room. Oh. Yeah. Or guest room. Because she forgot Opal and Ryan. I know. Is that she forgot them on purpose? I think so. How odd. Okay, we have Marilyn Wanda here. You know we figured out yesterday? Stick out that whiteboard. There you go. Isn't that fun? See how we get too soon old and too late smart. What are you doing here, chaos? Okay, we have the normal sort of thing from these people. Harold and Wanda. They're on the gluten-free. That's a new thing, I think, for them. I don't know. Maybe it's not new, but it, I didn't see gluten-free there before that I know of. Cheerios just started adding that to their boxes. Really? Yeah, I noticed that in the market. Huh. Okay. They probably always work and they decided to announce it. She wants to go out. Yeah. Isn't she demanding? Yes. Yeah. 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 She likes to bark at the She doesn't bark at the wind. Oh. Okay. Okay. She enjoys that. Have you got a calendar envelope going? Chaos. That's not necessary. Chaos, get back in here. You don't need to have an envelope because the piece of paper has the stuff on it. Okay, have you got a calendar envelope going? Oh, I threw the envelope away. I don't need I've it. got the thing. <coughs> okay. I'm going to go get it. Uh-oh. Right. Uh Here we have, oh my, uh-oh, I'll cut it off right in, I guess. Oh, wait a minute. 
I blow my nose. Maybe I'm getting sick. Maybe that's why I'm coughing. Maybe not. Hey, Okay, twenty dollars in there. I have to admit, I've watched Bella and George video at least 20 times. Right on! So we're dollaring up. So your wish is a dollar every hit. That makes 20 bucks. I ordered some dollars at my bank. I have to wait two weeks before they were available. And only $20 bills. What? I ordered some dollars at my bank. This is, that envelope is no good. Throw it out. Okay. okay. This envelope will arrive somewhere before Christmas. I hope around Thanksgiving. I want to, oh, that's right. Well, that's, that's why she had to order dollars, because she's in the Netherlands or someplace. Uh, here we go. Where is she? She is in the Netherlands. Like maybe Holland. Okay, I can't begin to tell you what the town is. <clears throat> so that's why she ordered some dollars from her bank, and I have to wait two weeks before they were available, and only in $20 bills. <clears throat> this envelope will arrive somewhere before Christmas and around Thanksgiving. Say thank you for all you're doing with the Complete Service Dog Project crew. Publicity and media attention is great spread the word but it's a real challenge to put things into good perspective another challenge is to let all these cute puppies change a person's life good luck with that challenge and keep doing good work and don't forget to take care of yourself they can't miss you <laughs> okay okay that's that's that lady in holland with the name i can I have to get Grace to put out this. Where's Grace? Grace? Yeah. Who's this person? <laughs> it's from Holland and I can't pronounce her name. Enica. Enica. Yeah, what's the last name? Cook. Enica Cook. 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 Oh. Enica. Okay. Enica Cook. <laughs> have you got that? If you got that, you wouldn't know how to spell it, would you? There you go. Oh, she can have that. Sounds apparently not. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She could find you. Yeah, she could find you. She's pretty good up here for a while, but then she just had to get up. Okay, and we have Mary. Wants a calendar. One calendar. Okay, the check goes in there. Calendar report. Calendar. Get with it, lady. Well, there you go. <coughs> and this can go in the trash. <coughs> ah. Okay, on to the go. Envelope is empty. Okay. Did that part. Calendars ordered one, total due 25. And five dollars for the fun fun. Oh, it's that nice. There we go, it goes in there, and the envelope is empty, and that goes over there. <coughs> wow. <coughs> Why did it take us that long to figure out that thing? To use the whiteboard. Has to do something with, you know, mine, yep. mine not working properly. <coughs> okay, there's a dollar for the fun fun. Dollaring up. Today is purple envelope day. As you've seen, I also have red, orange, and yellow, and green. So every fifth envelope will be purple. I'm glad you're enjoying them. I do like purple envelopes. I don't know why. Here's my dollar up. For the day, I haven't seen many others joining in. I have some in there that say dollar up. 
Hope they will start. Glad to see the occasional CP doing the postage challenge. I've been meaning to tell you how much I enjoyed your Explore blog highlighting Lydia and Annette. I'm so happy that Lydia survived her ordeal and became such a wonderful service dog for Annette. They make a magnificent pair. Take care and please keep up the good work. You do it crazy acres. Love you all. Jan. <clears throat> that picture, um, if you go to the Explore, the Explore, I don't know. The blog. Explore.org, and then you click on their blog, yeah. um, is where I have a few, uh, I, I'm supposed to do a blog a week. And I give them a blog a week, but I don't put them all out because some of them probably are a little bit too far out. I don't know. <laughs> any rate, um, everybody has a photographic memory. Some just don't like, don't have the film. Mm -hmm. The bald spot is like a, mm, oh, it's like a lie. Okay. I'm going to start this again now. You ready? Yep. A bald spot is like a lie. The bigger it gets, the harder it is to cover it up. <laughs> Can't go wrong. Uh, Murphy's Law, yeah. Don't disturb me, I'm disturbed enough already. That's about right, too. Okay. Who do people come up with these say? I don't know. You know, you can't sit down and say, okay, now I'm going to be creative. Who found that out? Um, the people who write that stuff. Jimmy just added a chapter to that book. She's now calling it the Christmas edition or something. And I just proofread one of the chapters and it's pretty funny. Yeah. It has to do with Janine trying to deal with stress, which I don't know whether you have to know Janine to think it's funny or not, but Janine is a very peculiar person with stress, wouldn't you say so? She gets into one mess after another. You know. Yeah. I did one stall today. Huh? I did one stall today. I did you one stall? Good for you. She's delighted with how well you're keeping up the horses. She really complimented you around the block. <laughs> but <clears throat> one of the stories on here, her, here, wherever, in the book, is how for one Weird reason after another, she ends up in a very wealthy area of Arlington, Virginia, with a donkey mm -hmm. that somebody takes out of the trailer and goes for a walk, and, and then lays down in the people's feet, you know, front lawn and very manicured. Everything's always perfect and things like that. And then the people all come out and set up chairs and sit there and watch the donkey taking a nap. I, you know, these things happen to Janine because she keeps going. She doesn't stop. She just keeps right on going. <laughs> what? I needed that. Yeah. I needed that. <gasps> she needs the envelope. She says she needs the envelope. In my opinion, you didn't. <coughs> but I'll give it to you. Anyway. <coughs> it's from Kim. I know, but it doesn't say where. It said it was to Kim. And up here it says, Dear Kim. So maybe I opened it by mistake. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We're so overjoyed <laughs> to have you as part of our <laughs> Chewy Com family, delivering your pet food and goodies to us in honor we hold dear and dear to our hearts. We wish you happy holidays <laughs> and amazing 216 filled with love, joy, <coughs> purrs, and tail wags. Lots of love. We have Ryan Cohen and Michael Day, co-founders. Okay, I understand this now. It's from Chewy.com, and they think that Kim lives here because she puts her name on the address when she sends something. And there you go. 
Now I have a very sad one here to open. Very upset about this. This came, this arrived with the top broken open. And it was for the nitrous oxygen car cartridges for the siphon and whipped cream maker. Oh. And I got nothing. Oh no, you got the envelope empty? Empty? Empty. It didn't work. So I now am going to write back to these people and say, you can't ship them in that. And I don't know. That's the nitrous oxide that the kids like to play with. So I'm not too sure why the thing is empty. I don't know Homeland Security didn't look into it. Huh? I know Homeland Security didn't look into it as a dangerous item. Right? Whatever. Whatever. I didn't get it. I mean, interesting stuff off of me. That's the thing alone. Huh? Hmm. <laughs> Okay, Anita. One calendar. Okay, Anita, that goes in there, and that goes there, and this goes there. Now she put out a second. That's really going to throw me. Okay. Here's a lady with nice hand handwriting. Linda. Federal Way, Washington. Look at the handwriting. Huh? You don't find people don't write nicely anymore. Come on. It's in word. Okay, so the envelope is empty. <coughs> Oops, missed. Try it the other way out. Three dollars for the fun fun. Check this for two calendars. Thank you for all you do, Linda. Well, thank you for writing so nicely because I think that's very nice too. Since we have some fun fun and we have two calendars. Hey, wake up. You're just falling behind here. What are you doing? What are you doing, doing, doing? Coming off that ledge. Uh oh. Okay. Okay. <coughs> That's a veteran who needs the who needs the dog. <laughs> gotta, hopefully he reads the that put that the like this. Um that's what, yes, people people applying for dogs should go through our website and read carefully what it says. Because we do have height and weight limitations. Oh, this person drew these things out very nicely. Hope you all had a lovely Thanksgiving. Thank you for the opportunity to, for service dogs. I will continue watching your live feed. Thank you. Sarah, Fluff and Puppy. Very good. And Barbara. Oh boy. Ride in an hour. Ride an hour? Grandma. Okay. That's kind of a cute envelope that they drew up by themselves. Okay. Double check the What did I do? Call from 
Service Dog Project. Hi. No, but that's very funny. I like the, I like the, yeah, that stressed one of yours is very good at the end. You, you, what, if, if you're worried about anybody proofreading it, why don't you put a disclaimer at the top, proofread by Carlene who can't spell. I mean, I proofread that last one. It was funny, but and I, I think I'm the. I didn't. Uh, Anne has, is not able to do it till tomorrow. Okay. Well, this is really funny. I don't know what it spelled right, but it's funny. Whatever that means. Oh, on the mark. <coughs> okay. I have read that before, haven't I? Lying on the guy's lawn? From Debbie? Uh, at Debbie's? I haven't read that before? Oh, okay. Well, I, I read it. <laughs> I skipped through it because I knew it. You know? I noticed that the guy's name was Greg. That was a, a very astute change. <coughs> well, only the names have been changed to protect my previous boyfriend. <laughs> that's, that's a good one, too. <laughs> well, that's a good one. Put that up. I can't think of all at once. These brilliant ideas only come to me, you know, randomly. But that, put that, at the, put that somewhere. That would be at the front, though, really. Okay. Okay. But other than that, it looks good. I, it looks good. Fine. She read one. I forgot what one she proofread. She proofread the one that had me going to Europe to buy a dog. Because we changed it from we changed it from Germany to Europe. Not really. Well, it's not here anyway. I, Teresa took it, I think. We have a book. Okay. Bye. We apparently have another book. Isn't that funny? I could have sworn I read that story before, but apparently I didn't. I heard it. She's got, she's got, she's getting better all, by, all the minute. That, there's a story of her. You know, you know how screwed up she can get doing things. I mean, and she just writes about it. Like she goes in supermarket shopping when she's hungry, so she eats everything before she gets out the door and saves the labels. <laughs> goes to, you know? She found it, it's quicker to shop if you leave your golf cart at the end, if your shopping cart at the end and just run them down the aisles. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so she has a dissertation on who the hell's gonna steal my shopping cart? It's so, you know, I mean, she goes on. I, it's, it's, I think it's pretty funny. I think it's pretty funny. Okay, so. There's another application. <coughs> That's another application. At any rate, the book the book is now the book is now apparently according to her it just went to print. We, we already sold 25 of them or something. It's the 
Christmas edition. And they are to be signed by both Janine and I. <laughs> so we have some time ahead. If she gets the book printed, we'll be... <laughs> you know, she didn't rush, she didn't rush into it. She didn't, she didn't get the idea until lately. So, what are you gonna do? For the fun fund. And a couple calendars. There we go. Put it in there. Sandy, Chesterfield, Missouri. Oh, that makes me remember. Um, I just got a notice from the veterinarian's office that I have quite a few payments, gift cards there. Anon, 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 anon. A lot of those. And anon, Missouri. And anon, Arizona. <laughs> And a bunch of those. So she's supposed to send me a list of the Adons and things and how much and stuff like that. She did say something about now I have a credit balance, which is unbelievable at the veterinarians to have a credit balance. I'm having trouble. This doesn't want to come out of the envelope. There we go. Nothing. Keep it in there. There we go. Here we go. The calendar and the fun fun. The fun fun, the dollar upping. There you go. Love these dollar ups. You get, you get enough dollar ups and we'll have a million dollars. That's for it. The dollar ups is from watching, if you watch the Bella and George video, you're supposed to dollar up because that's really. Here, I'm dollar upping a few times. <laughs> okay. There's, there's a bunch of dollar ups. You might get there yet. Cool. Who? Tina Shank. Who is? That just up dollared up. Oh. Okay. Thank you, Tina. Minnesota. Oh. Oh my word. Thank you very much. And she's she starts out with no need to read this aloud, so I don't have to read that aloud. But thank you very much. We'll go on. Moving on. <coughs> up in front of the camera? You don't have to get up, just sit there and hold it up in the air. That's a cute one. There we go. And we have hundreds. Mine goes away. What is all this? 
new message. Oh, stop it. No, I don't want to do that. I don't know. real. That'd be good. I would hope Sarah Lee would look real. We're getting down to a couple here that are just look like maybe they'll be bills. So we we'll just kind of kick them aside and go on with the ones that look like more like they're dollar ups. <coughs> we looking for dollar ups. Carlene, hope everyone had a great Thanksgiving, lots of good food. No matter how crazy this would is, we have a lot to be thankful for. 32 wonderful, playful pups. Someday will be people's life. What are we doing? She looks like she wants to get up. Oh, did you want to get up? Okay, the slight interruption was uh, I'm to be thankful for. Thirty two wonderful, playful pups. Someday we feel this what make people's life better. It is nice to start the day with puppy entries and a smile. Enclosed is my random tick checker. Back. Bless you for all you, and all the work you do. Joyce, Duffy. Okay, so this is a brick. That's a chicken brick. So that's got to go in there. And then somehow I have to have a one on here so it becomes a chicken brick. One. Chicken brick. Donna better straighten out her chicken brick department. Getting my little. Here we go. <clears throat> okay, now for excitement, we'll open the American Express bill. <clears throat> Maybe we'll cut it in half before we open it. That would be. There we go. We almost cut it in half. <clears throat> it's thick. It's large bill. Let's see how much. part where it's how much we spent on gas or whatever. All right, we're not getting anywhere too fast. Look at this bill. Something about the highest. I don't know if you go to the highest. Huh. Okay. Teresa spent four thousand dollars, but I think that was postage. That damn postage builds up. Better put that in Teresa's critical file.
yeah, you know, you, you think you're all set and you have, you have the calendars all paid for, and then you have to go to the post office, and all of a sudden you owe $700 a day for postage. <laughs> you know, but we're going to make it. We're going to make it. We are not going to worry. What is this gluten-free? I hit it again here. Those are Cheerios. It's Cheerios that are gluten-free. I didn't know that. How could they be whole grain and gluten-free? <laughs> Uh-oh. There's a dollar. There's a dollar for dollaring up. Got it. I thought wheat was gluten. Isn't wheat gluten? How do you take the gluten out of a wheat? You like, you don't put in it, you don't put wheat in it. It says wheat. What? It said wheat grain and gluten free. Cheerios. It did, it said wheat, it said gluten free, wheat. You can drain the gluten out of it. How the hell you can drain the gluten well, out of it? I want to know how they get caffeine out of coffee. What's the point? Well, so you don't get heart palpitations. Well, yeah. And who told me on that thing I wore? Stop be, drinking so much coffee. Stop drinking the coffee. Yeah. I mean, that's, yeah. No tea, no coffee. It's a terrible thing to have to do. Whole grain oats. Gluten free. Maybe they're different packaging. No, that's the same package. I'm sorry. That one goes here. See, there's the bowl. And that one goes, well, maybe that one doesn't go there, but... I know. No artificial flavors or colors. So it is Cheerios and it is whole grain and it is gluten free. So maybe maybe these are this is a different package. This is a different package. No, it says Cheerios for everyone. It starts at the farm. I don't know. They look like oats to me there. You can drain it. You can drain an oat? You can drain the gluten. Okay, we'll try that next week. I know, but there's some way of doing that. Well, at least they say there is. I don't know that I'm going to go along with that. There definitely uh -oh. is. I didn't take everything out of that one. Uh -oh. I didn't take everything out of that one. Okay. Here we have calendar. And Janine's book. She will be, I will be 83 next month. Is by, The Service Dog Project is the best thing ever. Oh, that's wonderful. I'm delighted. They're gonna, it, that, the new chapters are going to be funny. I mean, I would, I see that. I have to figure out how to. She gets a calendar and a book. We'll put them back in the envelope. And that's... Yeah, really this has to be a calendar. Are you paying attention? I am. It doesn't look like it. I'm listening. Mm. This has got to go in the calendar and book department, wherever that happens to be. <coughs> and now for excitement, we will have the Verizon bill. Okay. Well, first of all, I have to figure out who it's for. I have a feeling this is mine. Because it's only $85. I think that's mine. Yeah. That's mine. <clears throat> that's mine because the one that goes out to the barn is a lot more. The one that carries the video feed, whatever. And here we have the town of Ipswich. Oh boy, is it hell what? Our, our animal inspector never got here today yet. I was told she was coming. She didn't get here yet. Oh God, it's got a bond on it. It probably means I'm late. 
Ah, no, it's five dollars. The trailer. I better get it paid. Five dollars, I don't know which trailer, but we're not going to worry about that because we can't figure it out anyway. And they even give me a, an envelope to send five dollars to them. And then we have what well, looks like an advertisement, but I wonder. Sure. I'm sure now. with Africa. Africa's got too many, the whole world's got too many people, not just Africa, everybody. Too many people. Too many people. <laughs> Did you get this one? say something over there? Yeah. The what she said. Tell us the name. I'm just looking for a name here. She says okay. Well, something. you're on a separate project. What is bothering me is this one. The opportunity for service dog. I don't understand. You better say that because I don't. Did she, is this, did she send an application? All right. Moving on. supposed to do with all this, but I'll cut a hole in it and put them in there and then we'll have them all together. That sounds like a good project. There we go. There we go. Let's figure that out tomorrow on the next day. It feels like a padded padded vest with some rings on it. Big. Are you singing or is that something wrong with my hearing aid? <laughs> <laughs> okay, you said this was Sir Thomas. I did. Okay. That's this. Is that it? Nope. Oh. Where would you like this? Right over there until we get around to doing something else. That big one, I, open that big one. No. Open the flat one last. Okay. I know what the flat one is, and I want to show it to everybody. I think I have an idea of what it is. Do you? Oh. <laughs> Just from who it's from. Right. Okay. Here we have some things. Oh. Tide pods. Tide pods. Tide pods. You the other one that likes side pods. Side pods. Pods are fun. I've always wanted to pop one. <laughs> okay. Do we got anybody who was from? Did you take a paper out of here? I did. Well, how am I supposed to know who did it then? I was giving it to you. But from you CP, Laura. I know. I was over here. It says Laura Huron. Cron. Cron. <laughs> Laura Han. Maybe the H is silent. Okay, so this box now must be filled to, with stuff to go to Kitty, who is having an auction deal. 
and she has some of our stuff to be sold. So we will take some of the extra stuff that we have around. The stuff that you have and you laugh at once and it is funny and you enjoy it, and then it just hangs around. I've already lost the thing that says bullshit. It's right here. Where is it? Here it is. Here we go. Okay, so here we go. Bullshit level, DEFCON 5. Oh, come on now. That ain't even bullshit. That's horseshit. What did it say? That's not bullshit. That's horseshit. Oh. Warning, warning, bullshit alert. Yeah. At any rate, that's funny. I enjoyed it. I played with it and I had a good time. It's time to pass it on to somebody else to enjoy. Okay, you want to put that in the... I don't know where. Good place. Oh, oh, oh my word. I knew oh, it. Oh my word. Something that was knitted. Well, she made the... Sock yeah. monkeys. Oh, boy. is a lovely, probably bedspread, very much like the one I've got. Huh? That's a dog toy? No dog's going to get that toy. It's <laughs> too nice. Okay, so we have this, we have this bedspread. Jesus, beautiful work. Let me be able to open the thing. Yeah, sure. Maybe it just take two of you. Yeah. Stay away. Get over here. Yeah. Here's the Afghan I promised for you to raffle. Whoop. It's an Afghan. It's just like yours, machine washable and dryable. Whoop. I didn't know mine was an Afghan. It smells so good. It does smell good. These are adorable. Aren't these adorable? I don't know what they are. A few toys for small dogs. They each have squeakers in them and are also machine washable and dryable. Hope I help in some way. Kathy, go for it. That's very nice. It is. Huh? Isn't that lovely? I used mine as a bedspread. I didn't know it was an Afghan. It's crochet. It's a perfect bedspread. I know that. Yeah. She does beautiful work. She does beautiful work. She definitely does. She also made this this thing for my elbow, which is I use all the time. Yeah. This thing. Yeah. To pad my elbow. I saw that. What a clever thing. Yeah, it's wonderful. Yeah. <coughs> now what do you do? So we're going to auction that off, huh? When are we going to do that? You're going to put it back in the box. Oop! Oop. We're going to put it in the, in the plastic bag in the box. I want to open one of those because I don't understand those. Okay. That's an awful nice dog toy. Baby likes it. Yeah, Baby likes it. There's a, a bag here that says for Bailey. Oh. I don't know if that came with this. Did that come with that? Mm -hmm. yeah. I know. Doesn't smell Okay. Service dog project. Yeah. I just. I see that. Okay, that'd be wonderful, yeah? 
that could happen. That would be wonderful. I didn't know this was a vacuum. I have mine as a bedspread, and it's wonderful. Okay. That means everything, everything does help. Okay, great. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. That was Kathy. Selling us to auction it off. I mean, raffling off. Something like five dollars a ticket. How are we going to do that? We need a lot of people someplace. Um, oh, about that. Huh? This school thing. Yes. We're going to do it at a different event because the committee didn't follow through as quickly as they thought they should. Okay. Just so you it's know. not a problem because I haven't got the fly of the thing yet either. for small dog. She says two dollars on those small dogs. They're, they're much fun two dollars. For Bailey. We give Bailey this for breakfast. That's a big thing. Mighty dog. Chicken, egg, bacon. Country platter. Okay, we'll deal with that next. Okay, I'm ready for questions. Questions? Oh. 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 What? That's really high. It is. <laughs> ah! Yeah. It's all right. Isn't that good for my heart or something? Whatever. Here comes How's our Bailey? Other. What? How's Bailey? I think Bailey's I think Bailey's getting better. I really do. Don't you think she's getting better? She's running around. Yeah? Yeah, but I think her rear end looks better than it ever has. I mean I think clipping the hair off was probably a good deal, but I mean her skin looks better. You know? She hasn't got hair on it, but it looks better. And she smells better. Grace has been taking very good care of her. Rice and oats are considered gluten-free. Rice and oats are? Oh. So where does the gluten come from? Wheat? Wheat. Yeah. Wheat. And, and Cheerios are made out of just oats, aren't they? Yeah. Did you want this pop? Pop. As long as you don't make a big noise when the veterans are here. Oh, I hear you. I, I had a boss that was like that. Oh? Yeah, he'd been in Vietnam. He came home when there was a TV show on the, who was it? He used to say dynamite. No. Dynamite. No. And he said that was not what he wanted to hear. Mm -hmm. He got back from Vietnam. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Get your tractor back? No. Not yet. That was a good one. What was that odd? Um, is Noel soon to be in heat? No. Not yet. Thank you. Hopefully she's due in heat in January? March. Apparently she's due in March. And then if she takes, due to have puppies in May. March, and we'll have puppies in May. Any news about pie or nutmegs? 
from the walk dog. Pie was here today. Really? Pie was here. Yeah. She. Yeah, they hadn't come back for recertification. Uh huh. She's too fat. That dog scares me. Pie does. Mm. Why? I don't really know. It's just the look of her. She's a very efficient dog. Yeah. I think she's got the right handler, too. Uh -huh. He's going back into the bloodhound business. He's been nationally known for bloodhound work, providing bloodhounds to state agencies. Mm -hmm. And he's good. But he's also got Parkinson's or something. I've forgotten what. He's a character. But he handles a big dog without any problem. He just feeds her too much. Did you hear about nutmeg? I did not hear about nutmeg. Is a three-month-old puppy too young for a puppy to show food aggression? Yeah, they're all too young. <laughs> well, none of these are. Huh? None of them are three months yet, right? No, we had a battle out here over the... Yuppie over the yuppie puppy today. <coughs> Shouldn't allow food aggression at any age. No. Did you get any test results back from Dr. George on Bailey? <coughs> no, I didn't. I didn't ask either. Was the photographer there this morning for an article? Yes. They're doing the cover article on us for the an Ipswich magazine. Oh, is that what Betsy was on? Yes. I smell food. Mm, me too. I do too. Have you noticed how We've got the fan blowing hot air up a little bit there. Yeah. It's very nice. Isn't yeah. It? Yeah. It's nice having that that option to take take it and distribute it. Yeah. Did you ever find the four shirts you lost? No, but somebody sent me. Look, this is one of the ones they sent me. Oh yeah. The what? one the plaid one. Yeah. That's, that isn't. That's three shirts they sent me. This is one of them. Yeah. Very nice. There'll be a slight delay while she kisses the dog. <laughs> Who is Pi related to? Who is Pi related to? Oh boy. I'll get my record book. Pi. Pi is a tank. is Merlo and Frankie. Frankie was a, he was almost a rescue dog we had. And <clears throat> we had one litter with him. <clears throat> and he produced Crimson, Excel, Pie, Corky, and Charlie. Those are all service dogs. Yeah. Oh, good litter. Pie was good. Yeah, it, it, it She's I, a tank that's too fat right now. I had Ethel. I don't know. Yes, I did. Ethel. Yeah. Ethel was it? Oh, Pi had, Pi had Ethel. That's different. Oh, this was the litter that produced Pi. Right, yeah. Right, just read off. Uh, from Merle. Okay, so Pi had... I oh, want to try boy. to name them. Ethel, Wicked, <laughs> Dolly. Oh, boy. I'm done. Jane. Jane. There's one there with four letters I can't read. I can't read too much. But there's four red blur blurbs. Winston. Now, Gypsy and Matilda were not apparently service dogs. I can't remember. Those two went to the walk. Well, they went to walk. Yeah. Okay, so they were probably service dogs. We don't know. They went to another agency. She had Wicked, didn't she? Yeah. 
I can't. I can't read them. Dolly, yeah, she had Dolly. There's also a tank. Yeah. Those ones. Ethel, Wicked, Jane, Dolly, Bayou, Phantom, Gypsy, Matilda. Phantom Bayou? Is that how you say that? Bo? B E A U. Bo. 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 Boyfriend type. Okay. Phantom Bo, Matilda, and Gypsy all went to the walk. Okay. Eight? I'm pretty sure six or eight went to the walk. Okay, so, I have a, oh, I have a difficult thing. And it's not going to happen for a long time anyway, but um, Lou Picard, who was one of the directors who got me going in this to begin with, runs a big outfit down in New York, and she would like to experiment with some Great Dane puppies. Um, her setup is that she has one woman who would come here for a week and learn about handling Great Dane puppies and then the puppies would go to a school where she would be responsible for them 24 hours a day and the kids would socialize them. And these kids, these are kids out of the New York school system that are Somehow they got out of the New York school system and into this program, whatever it's for, I don't know. I don't know. But at any rate, um, the school would like to keep on going with a dog program. She's short puppies. Um, and they would keep them for a few months and then return them. Six months, probably. And return them. Whoop, where are we going? Is he complaining because he doesn't have a pillow or what's the problem there? Have I got a pillow down here? Mm -hmm. Well, that has to be under her head, please. That's what the problem is. She wants her head up just a little bit. Up in the air. There we go. Up with the pillow. Pillow. Is that better? Bang in your head. So that would be happening next spring. And I'm supposed to think about it and let her know. Nobody's saying anything. So we're thinking, right? We're, we're all brooding on it. You're all thinking about it. Yes, we are. How does that affect bonding? That's what worries me. Yeah, how does that? How it also affect our work. training process from there? They would be keeping them down there, apparently, kind of as we keep them here, with pretty much the one woman in charge of them. And they go out to play with the children. How many? Six. So this woman would have six great days in her house? In her, yeah, in her, apparently she has an apartment in the school or whatever. Yeah. You see six great days in an apartment? Well, Maybe the school that, you know, set set up. Up, she set up she set up an apartment over the camel or whatever. There's apartments and there's apartments. Yeah. Is this a reform school? Is this for kids who have Something been... Something like that. Because I know they've been very successful with programs with prisoners in jail and... Oh, I know puppies. that part, yeah. yeah. But I don't, I don't know what happens to those dogs after the prisoners have them. Are they used as service dogs or are they used as that's I don't know. Yes, they are. Are they used as service dogs? They have one okay. project up in the Albany area, uh, Albany County Correction, okay. that they just set up. This is rescue dogs. Mm -hmm. Many of them are pit bull, pit bull mixes. Okay. And they, they keep them and they train them. They like them. I don't know how much training they get or what type, but they just started it. And then they, they go out therapy dogs that they need dogs. dogs in general. I don't think it's specifically like for disability. I'm not sure how they uh, place them here. It depends on who's running the program. Yeah. <coughs> I know that Needs up here, which is accredited by ADI, uh -huh. runs a prison program. 
Um, not all prison programs are, are aimed at service dogs. A lot of them are just pet for, dogs. Or something. For like therapy dogs. Therapy dogs. Regular dogs, therapy dogs, yeah. It depends on, like you said, it depends on the program and what they're training them for. Yeah, because coming out of the prison program, they're just, they're this lady is obedient. Yeah. <coughs> How are we doing? Good. The food is smelling very good. I'm getting very sleepy. Yeah, I see you. Don't fall asleep. I know. <laughs> are we breeding the well when she comes into heat? I don't even want to think about it yet. That's too far away. Come on, guys. She's here every day anyway when Megan comes. She lives with Megan. Did you get the cables figured out in the nursery camp? I did. It's wonderful. We're all ready to move that camera someplace if we want to show, like, the back room or something. I think it'll reach it. You have to unhook it. Who was the puppy Megan took to Florida? What's this? Who was the puppy Megan took to Florida? Dina. She's doing fine. Are we done? Mm -hmm. We done. We're going to shut off the bike now and take a nap. <laughs> and eat dinner. Eat dinner in the oh. Whoopie do, sir. Yeah, probably ought to get the box out of the way. Yeah. Probably ought to turn off that fan. Okay. Right in the corner of the box. Corner up, top corner, black, black box, black, down, up. Yeah, right box. In the back side, there's a knob. Oh, yeah. Okay. Turn that. Yeah. There we go. Otherwise, you're blowing sparks at yourself. Right. Oh, no, I hear you. That ought to be all right now. Why don't you pour water on it? Now you no, I'm just, I'm just, there's one What lock. am I doing? I'm turning off the microphone. Place it not on fire. We fixed that. <laughs>